Alright Brad, since I promised you a video showing you around the farm a little bit, I came out today and shoot that. And the good thing about me delaying so long is that since it's fall, you can have a nice look at our fall colors as they start to come in here on the farm. Uh, in a minute I'll show you the orchard and some of our hardwoods. And um, beyond that, I think I'll show you kind of what the concept is behind our solar greenhouse today and maybe a little bit more information about that. And this is our newest solar greenhouse. Uh, we put this together mostly out of material that we had on hand, uh, that being metal pipes. And I think the total cost of this was somewhere in the $1,000 range. But we'll just step inside here. And immediately when you step in, there's about a 20 degree difference between what it is outside and what it is in here. Now I'll explain the uh, mechanism to you behind that. This is well over into November now. And uh, now we've got green beans going on. And the uh, way that we're able to do that is to heat it using kind of solar power. This is the magic that makes it happen. These are old, uh, they call them teat dip uh, barrels. And these are from a dairy farm. So we've just reused these and filled them with water. And the sunlight comes in, heats them up, and protects the plants from the frost at night because it puts out the energy that is stored in there. And that'll protect these well into the first frost that we've already had. In case you do plan on trying to take some of this on for yourself, uh, there's some plants that you'd probably want to have, at least if you were in North Carolina. And I'm sure that some of you in California can grow this as well. What we're looking at right here is asparagus that has gone to seed. And the great thing about asparagus is that you plant a bed once and it just keeps coming back and back and back over and over again. And we're looking at here some muscadines. The muscadines are a grape that grow here in the south. And uh, grapes are a great thing to put on your property if you're going to try and implement some kind of agricultural self-sufficiency. Uh, these muscadines have been fertilized once in the 20 years that we've, we've lived on this farm. And, uh, you know, if you do fertilize them, actually, they do do terrible. They uh, grow way too wild and uh, cut off production. So they didn't actually need fertilizer when we first fertilized. Here's another great plant to have if you're just starting out. Plant some blueberries. Blueberries live for about 20 years. Don't require much maintenance at all. And they have a beautiful fall color as you can see. 